Hi folks and welcome to what is now my second uh, video in my uh, my blog series. Um, now then, today... Oh, before I uh, forget, uh, check this out. You like it? It's my uh, my latest uh, little intro video. Um, had it made by somebody online. Um, they made the video and I added um, a little logo, a little TP logo, which I uh, which I did in uh, in Photoshop. Uh, anyway, hope you like it. It's uh, short and, and sweet. Um, so. Last time on my video, I did say that I was going to go into more detail about the different genre of photography that I do. Um, and so this week I'm going to talk about my conceptual side of, of photography. Um, when I meet people for the first time, they quite often ask what type of photography I do. And uh, I, I tell them that I do primarily conceptual fine art photography. At which point they kind of go, oh, okay, uh, which clearly they have no idea what, what I'm on about. Um, and you may not either, so uh, I'm here today to, uh, to discuss um, what conceptual fine art photography is. Um, and I'll break it down into two parts, the, the first of all the, the conceptual side of it, and then my take on what I think fine art is. Um, so conceptual photography, like conceptual art, it's the same thing. You, it's a simple idea. In practice, it's, it's harder to actually do. But you take an idea or a concept, and you you build your work around that. You make a photograph to depict that that uh, that idea. Uh, it can be many things. It can be emotions. Uh, say, for example, sadness, happiness, love, hate, um, and you 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 make a um, an image. From, uh, from this emotion, from this subject. Um, for example, uh, take a look at this, uh, this photograph here. Uh, I call it Preparing for Summer. Uh, it's a whimsical little photograph uh, of a, um, a, a girl with, a, with a, an unusually long wand to a vacuum cleaner um, on a beach, why not? Uh, she's uh, hoovering the uh, the dark clouds from the uh, the spring sky, um, preparing for summer. But at the same time, you could argue that she's um, she's clearing the dark clouds from inside her mind or inside her soul. She's she's getting rid of those those dark uh, dark thoughts that that, um, that have gathered up inside her. And this is basically what, what conceptual art, or at least my take on conceptual art, is uh, is all about. As I say, it's about taking an idea um, and, uh, and and making a, an image out of it, but the actual process of doing that is is, is harder than harder than it sounds. Um, sometimes, I must admit, I will I will start with an image or an idea of an image and then work backwards and, and figure out the the concept uh, behind it that way. Um, but quite often, I try to start off with uh, with uh, um, with the, with the concept first, and which is which is what it's all about. Uh, here's another example, uh, which I call "Spiral of Love." Again, the model is uh, uh, it's all about it's all about love and, and freedom. She's uh, she's throwing the the butterflies um, into the air, and they're they're spinning around in this spiral. Um, again, it's just it's a you know it's a it's a whimsical little uh, little image, but it gets the point across, uh, I think. So that's my take on uh, conceptual photography. Um, and uh, as ever, you can see those images and many more on my, my website, which is uh, tonypriestley.com. Um, I'll put it in the uh, description below, the link, and uh, you can take a look, hopefully. And so the other side of... Uh, um, what I, what I do is, as I say, fine art uh, photography. Now, fine art, um, in my mind, people struggle with, with the term fine art. What is fine art? And it's, it's not always easy to, um, to describe. 
uh, I'm a photographer, so I'll talk about fine art photography, but I can't see that there'd be that much different with other genre of art, so painting, sketching, uh, sculptors, even anything. Um, the best way to describe it, it's not, it's not easy as I say. Right, I'm sitting here on my terrace. If I was to turn around and take a photograph of the view that's out there, if all I did was just alter it slightly to make it look like my eyes, so, because cameras and eyes don't quite see the same image, um, so increased the, the, um, the contrast, maybe adjusted the, the exposure a little bit, Basically, that would be what you describe as a, a documentary style photography, because you, you're actually documenting what is there, what what you saw, what the camera saw. Um, but when it comes to uh, um, to manipulating that image, uh, giving it a, a subjective uh, view, then you know, say you you changed the the contrast to a point where it was nothing like it was in the image, or you changed the colours, or or or, or boosted the colours, or or, um, or do as I do, I, I add textures to, to the photographs. Um, so you change it in in, a, in in quite a quite a big way, and that's to me is fine art. Um, it's a it's a subjective view of that view rather than um, um, an objective reality, which y your documentary style photography is. Uh, I mean, that's the best way I can, I can describe fine art. It's, it's a subjective view of, um, of a subject, of, of a view, and it can be anything, it doesn't have to be landscapes, uh, it, it, you know, it can be nature, it can be macro, it can be anything. But it just doesn't quite represent that image as it was. It's, it's altered in some way. And so you can argue that, that you know, 90% of photography is, is fine art photography. And yeah, I suppose it is, to a lesser or greater extent. So, uh, so that's it. So you've got the conceptual photography, which is just taking an image, uh, taking, sorry, taking a subject, or taking a, um, a, 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 an emotion, an idea, um, turning that into, uh, into uh, an image. And then the fine art side is, as I say, is, is, is the other side of documentary photography. It's a subjective view of a subject, or an object, or a view. Um, and so there you go, that's it. Uh, anyway, you can see my images um, on my website, which is tonybrucely.com. And uh, I, if you don't get that, I will, I will put it in the, uh, in the description below, the link in the description below. And you can go and take a look. Um, I sell my works on the site. Um, as I say, I sell them as um, as prints rather than digital downloads. Um, I prefer it that way. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll, I'll also sell digital download versions. But for the time being, I'm still early days on my website, and um, uh, I, just, I, just, I just want to sell physical uh, um, prints at the moment. In three different sizes. Uh, go check them out. Um, and uh, I'll see you uh, next time, and hopefully I'll talk about oh uh, another bit of photography, <laughs> no doubt. Um, I'll maybe uh, take you along on a, on, a, on a photo shoot somewhere if I do, because I also do landscape fine art uh, shots as well, so take on a, a, light, a landscape uh, fine art shoot. Um, but who knows? I'll see. I'll see what's going on. So, until next time, uh, please... If you like these videos, click on the thumbs up on, uh, on YouTube or click the subscribe button, hopefully both. Uh, remember, please subscribe because nobody has yet. Um, so hit the subscribe button and uh, you'll be notified in future of, of any videos uh, that, I, uh, that I put on online. Either on my website or on YouTube, but they have to go on, on both. So, uh, okay, thank you very much and uh, see you again. Bye.